I was born the youngest of a family of seven siblings in the township of Ituka. And it's right on the Murray River. The Yorta Yorta people, who are my ancestors, their name for the Murray River was Dungala. The way the system worked was that not all 20-year-olds were automatically conscripted. Your name and your birth date just went into a barrel and they just randomly picked them out. When my number came up, I had a very um, intense conversation with my mother about this. She was not only against the war, but she was against my having to do national service training. But I took the 1967 referendum literally, a recognition by over 90% of the population that Aboriginal people were equal citizens. So I had no qualms. I um, saw that as an opportunity to do my duty. The first thing that um, I noticed was the searing heat. Um, it was a bit like when you first go to Darwin and that heat sort of takes your breath away a bit. In my unit at the time, I think I probably was the only Indigenous uh, uh, recruit. We had an open air cinema. Um, that was our sort of entertainment. And they, they used to have some really good films they'd, they'd bring across and show us. But if there was any film that had um, black people, <laughs> or even Aboriginal people, all, all the um, uh, racist and prejudice remarks would come out. Oh, look at the big coon, you know. And, if it was an African-American guy, you know, and the word nigger, all of this stuff was uh, flung about very freely. You know, people knew about my identity, but there'd be a, a pretty um, a raw conversation happening about Aboriginal people, you know, drunks, lazy, all of these negative stereotypes would be bandied around. That used to piss me off. And look, uh, there were a few mates that would call them out, as well as I'd call people out. But I also disliked their attitude towards the local Vietnamese. They really looked down their nose at the locals. Whatever term was applied, it was always a negative that suggested that the Vietnamese were inferior in some way. That, in a way, re reinforced my thinking about how they viewed Aboriginal people. I saw how the war had impacted on the communities in South Vietnam. I wondered, you know, whether we were playing a, um, a positive role. When I returned, um, there was a period there where I just didn't feel like talking about it. And people would really have to drag it out of me if they wanted to hear stories about my experience. But I had changed. I think the experience politicised my, my thoughts about discrimination and uh, racism and the treatment of the other. And it motivated me to start showing more of an interest in, you know, what other ways it can be used to resolve conflict rather than going to war. 